then there's no, it's, it's not mindfulness. So, I shared at uh, the Hungan Chapel in, in uh, uh, Cork that uh, mindfulness is love. And I shared that and then I, I thought, okay, how can I justify that? <laughs> what, what, how can I say mindfulness is love? And quite simply, the act of uh, coming back to yourself, just taking the time to stop, stop what you're doing, and come back to your body, perhaps come back to your breath, and just take time to say, hey, how am I doing? Checking in with yourself. That's an act of love for yourself. It may be a short moment that you give yourself, but it's a, a wonderful moment. Just to take the time to stop and say, how am I doing? And to say to yourself, I'm here for you. It's a kind of, that's the kind of thing you're saying when you stop. You say, okay, I'm here for, I'm going to be here for myself for this moment. And listen, listen, what's going on in me? And it may be um, that we get in touch with uh, some anxiety or some stress, something not so pleasant, but it's already, we've already changed something by the act of stopping and coming back to ourselves. Interestingly, it's not so easy to, to stop, even when we actually recognize that we do have the time to do it and we know it may be a good thing to do, we tend to find something, uh, another way to use that time. Maybe it's uh, we get out of our eye touch, or we, we occupy ourselves with something else. Uh, we want to distract ourselves. And in fact, we can get to such a state where we we really want to distract ourselves from ourselves. We don't really feel comfortable coming back to ourselves. So that's a kind of dangerous situation. If we've got to this place where it's, we really don't want to come back to ourselves, that's, that's kind of sad. So we want to um, not have that state of affairs continue. And we should know that uh, to have the courage to come back to ourselves is a wonderful act of love for ourselves, firstly. And it's not that difficult once we actually do it. But it does take that choice, that decision. I'm going to do is I'm going to stop and just come back to myself. And what I would like to say is if you can find the time, to stop and come back for three mindful breaths in, out, three times, that's enough to change something. It means, a bit like in the guided meditation, you come back, you maybe close your eyes, and you breathe it in, and you say, in. You recognize your in-breath, out. You recognize your out breath. And see if you can follow, keep your awareness with the breath right the way through the in breath, and right the way through the out breath. In, out. Can you do that three times? Keeping your concentration, keeping your attention all the time with the in-breath and the out-breath, all the way through. If you can do that three times, you will notice something change. Whether you're in an agitated state of mind, anxious, 
angry, sad, or whether you're already feeling pretty good. Maybe you're even excited. But if you can do that, you'll notice something. And it will be a beneficial feeling. It will be something you feel that's good. <coughs> because what has happened is you have got in touch with what is going on. And whatever is going on, that's you. That's your life. And that is a wonderful thing to be in touch with. We don't want to miss our life. And every now and then, we stop and we touch what is going on, what is happening. And what is happening is, is life. If we can take the time to touch life. Life in us and life around us. Not long before uh, we gathered together in this room for this evening, uh, we had some time. And Regine from Mindfulness Island, who's been hosting us uh, for this tour, and myself and the brother, we, we had a chance to walk in the botanical garden. It's so beautiful. And um, in this walk, we we did a walking meditation. And it means that we, we just focused on the walk. We didn't talk between ourselves. We had to, we had a lot to be talking about, okay, this and that, preparing. But we decided, okay, for the time we're in the gardens, let's enjoy the walk and let's enjoy the gardens. Let's not talk. So we uh, began our walk and tried to generate this energy of mindfulness as we walked through the garden. And for myself, it was a very uh, wonderful uh, walk. The light uh, was very beautiful. So, and I did feel this sense of getting in touch with with the life energy, and both in me and also in the, the gardens. When we are able to come back to ourselves and, and sense, hmm, I'm actually here, that's when we have this sense, I can actually become aware of what's going on outside of me, because we've come back into ourselves and we're able to then touch things around us. So when we generate this presence for ourselves, this presence of being there for ourselves. We're able to offer that also to um, what is going on outside of us. It may be the trees, um, it may be our, the people we're with, our loved ones. So first of all, when we, we practice to restore our sense of I'm here in this body, and I'm and present, we're able to say to our loved one, darling, I am here for you. 